From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Rory Johnston with your afternoon headlines. Cummins Falls State Park is now closed because of so much recent rain. Earlier this year, a Kentucky toddler was killed there during flash flooding. The Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation, they've been implementing a new safety strategy that includes real-time weather monitoring at the park. The new policies also include children 12 and under having to wear a life jacket, children five and under not encouraged to enter the falls or the gorge at all. The family of the toddler now suing the state, claiming a series of human errors led to his death, including the design of the park and how it was operated. Two people nabbed for a violent robbery that ended in a fast food restroom. Investigators say a man and woman shot another man during a robbery at the Kroger on Monroe Street just before 1230 this afternoon. Fortunately, the victim only suffered minor injuries. We're told the victim was able to chase the suspects to nearby Popeyes. Police arrested the woman in the parking lot. They caught the robber in the bathroom. No names and charges have been released as of yet. And armed and on the run, the search is on for whoever shot a delivery driver outside the Walgreens on Murfreesboro Pike just before 8 this morning. We're told the 24-year-old driver was delivering medication when he had an altercation with a possible homeless man. That gunman was wearing a black hoodie with yellow riding, dark jogging pants with a gold stripe down the legs. The victim now in stable condition at the hospital. Of course, if you have any information, call police. All right, the rain has arrived. Here's Bree with the latest. Yeah, so round one came through during the morning hours and afternoon hours of Wednesday. There'll be a brief lull during sunset time Wednesday night, but then it will ramp back up again Thursday morning. Here's the other thing that you've got to be prepared for. The 7 a.m. temperature overnight tonight will be 57 degrees. The 3 p.m. temperature Thursday will be 38. It'll be 20 degrees colder at 3 o'clock in the afternoon than it is at 7 a.m. And that means blustery conditions for trick or treaters Thursday night. We're talking about a feels like factor wind chills down into the 20s for some folks. Now, sunshine does return this weekend. It gets us into the low 50s, but it still looks like we're going to be dealing with widespread, very cold overnight temperatures, freeze watches possible as we head into the weekend.